Today, Castletown Law is hosting the first, for many years, event on nuclear power in Scotland. Castletown Law is an international practice. It operates on a direct advisory basis and we have 14 lawyers across different countries. From this event today, I'm hoping that we will open the debate to people who perhaps have particularly entrenched views, potentially against nuclear. We will hopefully dispel some of the misconceptions around nuclear so that people have a better idea as to what potentially it can do. The benefits of nuclear power really are multi-dimensional, but I approach it in terms of the energy trilemma. Sustainability, security and affordability. If we think about sustainability, nuclear, in many commentators' view, plays an important role in relation to the low carbon agenda. In terms of security, we're seeing some pretty significant events in the world today in relation to the Ukraine crisis and the impact on energy security. And then the final element, affordability, is the cost of energy is increasing and low carbon energy is sought after and again nuclear can play a very large role. The nuclear industry in its own right is the only industry that can say controls their waste from cradle to graves from the time the fuel arrives to the time that we manage the disposal and storage of the nuclear waste. It is controlled and regulated and the amount of waste a country would generate in terms of nuclear waste would probably fit in an area smaller than a football pitch. There's a huge drive from all governments to move towards renewables as a source of clean power. Nuclear energy provides that clean power, but with more diversity. And having at least 25% of a national grid supply coming from nuclear provides that base load energy to allow countries to be stable in their power requirements. There are new technologies, which we are going to talk about a lot today, which then allow completely fail-safe models. Compare it to your car. Are you driving a 1970s car at the moment? If we don't adopt the modern technologies which have been developed by some of the best scientists in the world, then as a nation, we're going to fall behind the rest of the world because there's no doubt that the world is moving towards nuclear power generation in quite a significant way.